You're watching Get Cruise Ship Info and more. In today's latest cruise news update for 13th May, we'll be discussing five key topics. So enjoy the scenery while you get your daily dose of cruise news. But before we jump right into it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so that you stay updated whenever I drop my next latest cruise news update. Now, without further ado, let's get started. CDC eases out cruise face mask and shore excursion rules for vaccinated guests. The US Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, which is the CDC, has seemingly lightened up on its complex cruise regulations, releasing an update to its COVID-19 operation guidelines for cruise lines waiting to operate from US ports under the agency's conditional sale order. While the CDC stressed its mask order remains in effect, it said that the cruise ship operators at their discretion may advise passengers or guests and crew if they are fully vaccinated that they may gather or conduct activities outdoors, including engaging in extended meal service or beverage consumption without wearing a mask except in crowded settings. The CDC also noted that cruise lines may allow fully vaccinated guests or passengers to go ashore on their own instead of having to participate in organized group tours. Cruise ship operators at their discretion may advise passengers and crew if they are fully vaccinated. They may engage in self-guided or independent exploration during port stops if they wear a mask while indoors. The cruise ship operators additionally advise that foreign jurisdictions may have their own requirements, set the guidelines. Princess Cruises cancels more sailings into August 2021. Princess Cruises said that it had made a decision to cancel more cruises as it continues to work with various government and port authorities to finalize its additional plans for return to cruising. Cruise cancellations include the following. California Coast and Mexico sailings on Ruby Princess through August 21, 2021. Caribbean sailings on Caribbean Princess through August 2021. Remaining 2021 Mediterranean season on Enchanted Princess. Now, the company said that it continues its discussion with various United States and Canadian government officials to try to preserve a portion of the Alaska 2021 cruise season. This is what Jan Swartz, Princess Cruises president, had to share. We continue to have constructive discussions with the CDC and still have many questions that remain unanswered. We are working diligently to resume sailing in the United States and meet the CDC guidelines. We know our guests are just as eager as we are to begin sailing, and we appreciate their patience as we get close to resume cruising. Inaugural deployment of the new Norwegian Prima announced. Deployment of the new Norwegian Prima is out, showcasing an inaugural tour style itinerary from Norwegian Cruise Line, with a variety of home ports and regions to show the ship off to multiple markets. Following a string of inaugural cruises and beginning August 2022, the Norwegian Prima will sail in Northern Europe from August 17th to the 13th of September 2022. She will sail a series of 10-day voyages from Amsterdam, Netherlands and Copenhagen and Denmark, sailing to Northern Europe, Norwegian forts and the Baltic regions. On the 23rd of September, Norwegian Prima will depart Southampton, England on a 12-day transatlantic voyage visiting Lerwick, Scotland, with an overnight in Reykjavik, Iceland before arriving in Halifax, Nova Scotia and ending her journey in New York to start a five-day round-trip itinerary on the 10th of October to Bermuda, where she will make her debut as the newest ship sailing the fall and winter season. On the 15th of October, she will depart from New York on a 12-day open-jaw Caribbean itinerary and will become the first Norwegian cruise line vessel to call in Galveston, Texas. She will have calls to Curaçao, Bonaire and Aruba. On the 31st of October, the Norwegian Prima will begin her Caribbean season departing from Galveston, Texas to Miami on 11-day itinerary. From the 19th of November to the 3rd of December, the Norwegian Prima will sail from Miami offering three seven-day Western Caribbean cruises visiting Harvest Cay in addition to the other notable ports including Cozumel and Rotan Island. Carnival strategizes with three ships sailing from US ports in July 2021. Carnival Cruise Line has notified its guests and travel advisor partners of cancellations for additional sailings as it works towards plans for a possible July restart in the United States on select ships. 
Carnival hopes to begin operating sailings on three ships from Florida and Texas, including Carnival Vista, Carnival Breeze from Galveston, and Carnival Horizon from Miami. Further, if Carnival can find a solution to allow cruise ships to visit Alaska, the Carnival Miracle will assume some of the Carnival Freedom's departures from Seattle. Given that there is still some uncertainty in our ability to operate these cruises, guests booked on those sailings who wish to make alternate summer vacation plans may cancel without penalty by the 31st of May 2021 and receive a full refund. The company is cancelling sailings on all other ships through July 30th, 2021. Guests whose cruises are cancelled are eligible for a future cruise credit or an FCC, an onboard credit or an OBC or a full refund. Separately, late last week, Carnival notified its guests that Carnival Splendor's pause out of Sydney was extended for another month as it cancelled sailings from August 19th to September 17th, 2021. Azamara announces health and safety protocols for return in August 2021. Azamara has announced its Explore Well at Sea program ahead of the line's return to service in August. All guests will be required to be vaccinated. Guests cruising in August and beyond can expect advanced screening protocols such as fully vaccinated crew and guests, enhanced sanitization measures and enhanced medical services according to the company. Azamara noted that it will continue to evaluate these protocols and update them as public health standards and global situation evolves. Booked guests and travel partners will be advised of the latest requirements prior to voyage departure. When it comes to testing and screening, all guests will be required to be fully vaccinated two weeks prior to sailing. As an added layer of protection to keep guests and crew safe, in addition to providing a SARS-CoV-2 test result, once on board, complementary COVID-19 testing and medical evaluations will be available. When it comes to air filtration, with the new HVAC filtration systems, the air indoors aboard each of Asmara's ships is comparable to the fresh sea air. This advanced filtration system takes in fresh air from the sea and moves it around a two-stage filter plus copper coils to eliminate 99.9% of germs, making the transmission of aerosol particles between spaces extremely low to virtually impossible, and moves it through two-stage filter plus copper coils. When it comes to cleaning protocols, advanced cleaning protocols and guidelines approved by the CDC and recommended by the Healthy Sail Panel will be followed. Every nook of the ships from bow to stern will be regularly cleaned and sanitized. New standards include enhanced team member training, use of EPA certified disinfectants, and techniques like electrostatic spraying. When it comes to medical capabilities, an enhanced medical facility will be found on board each Azamara's vessel. With more equipment, a dedicated infectious control officer and new isolation staterooms to provide comfortable and complementary care. New agreements will be in place with local governments, hospitals and transportation partners to ensure guests a safe return home. And with that, we conclude our cruise news update for the 13th May. If you enjoyed watching this cruise news update, a subscribe to my channel and a thumbs up for my video will really be appreciated. Until next time, take care and stay safe.